Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to an F4U A1 gameplay. Now, I've taken off the uh, airfield, I've uh, put myself into a 15 to 17 degree climb, got myself up to 4400 meters of altitude and look at this beauty, I see bombers and a Yak-1. A strong entrance to the video. Uh, directly to the uh, meat of it, I guess. But yeah, let's start off by engaging the uh, HE Triple Eleven. He is going down. This premium Yak One is head on me. Please do not head on 50 cals because they are uh, extremely deadly, and that's what the F4U is all about. 650 cals, an extremely good engine at in uh, at high altitudes. A shit ton of speed like this thing can go fast and once the F4U goes fast 400 then to 500 kph preferably 500 kph it can turn and roll like a god this thing man it's a beauty it's a real beauty. I love the design of the F4U. I love how the uh, the wings are like the seagull wings design. They're perfect, and I love the Corsairs in general. F4Us definitely like the whole series is classified to me. To me, they're classified as the best American planes there is for me. Period. There is. Period. That's how I love the F4U. Anyway, I went back for the HE Triple Eleven. I uh, I uh, secured my kill, and uh, I'm now trying to go back into the battle. Now, this thing sits at 2.7, like 2.7. So maximum up tier is 3.7. And down tier is 1.7. Like, that's the down tier of the down tier. And, yeah, a plane like this, with altitude, it can do a lot and a lot of damage. Plus, it is enjoyable and easy to fly. It's one of those boom and zoomers that allow you to turn and energy fight a little bit. But you need to do that with caution. Like, you really, really need to do that with caution. Now, I'm uh, diving down on the enemy. Most of the enemy team is low. There is one plane that is high. I don't care about that plane. He's going to go low anytime now. And I'm going for this uh, BF-109. Sadly, I have 50 kills. I only got crit. And this BF-109. I don't know what this BF-109 is made of, but... He just doesn't want to die. Like, seriously. As you can see, I'm sparking, 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 sparking. I don't know, man. On 50 cals, like M250 cals, I'm used to using uh, Universal Belt. And the Universal Belt does wonders. I mean, on 50 cals, it does not matter. Universal, stealth, whatever. 50 cals are too reliable. They, they they are they are that reliable. I like the consistency on them, but this BF109 man, like I, I tunnel visioned at the moment. I'm trying to evade the, this uh, C202 behind me, and I'm tunnel visioned on this BF109. Like what the hell, dude? Like what the hell? Anyway, I'm doing 600 kph with a 2.7 plane. Like a 2.7 plane is is not supposed to be this good. If if you look at uh, let's say BF 109 Spitfires, like let's take the Spitfire, the Spitfire Mark 1A. Spitfire Mark 1A, yes, it can turn, yes, it can climb, but it is not as good as this. The Spitfire Mark 1A has a 7.7s. Uh, this thing has six. 50 cals, and you know what, like 50 cals, they set everything on fire, like as you've seen with the HE-112, everything goes into a ball of flame. Now, I'm trying to bait this uh, C-202, 
C2O2 is at a uh, like the, the the they don't like to go in the vertical. They like going in the horizontal, not in the vertical. Once they go into the vertical, they lose a lot of energy. And there he goes. And uh, friendly almost killed me on that uh, engagement. Like aim for him, don't aim for my plane. Thank God that you sparked off my wing. If those were cannons or anything else, I would have de I would have been dead. Like 100%, I would have been dead. I got the kill on the uh, C202. Now I'm trying to re-engage the enemy, and uh, this is the thing with the uh, with the uh, F4Us. The F4Us they are great, but the only downside about them is, well, web. They don't like to web forever. As soon as I lose my web, I'm turning back to the airfield. I don't care if you have, if I have uh, altitude. Well, maybe I care if I have a lot of altitude and I have a good engagement possibility. But at a uh, lower than 3,000 meters, eh, no, sir. I'm going back to the airfield. Plus, the enemies have like three people left in it, so it, it's not worth for me to uh, to keep on chasing without web because not having whip on this plane can hinder your plane's performance by a lot after landing my plane and getting my web back i'm uh, climbing a little bit i'm trying to uh, intercept this uh, bf110 in front of me the p63 is on him and uh, the p63 is a sticky plane it can stick on you like it's one of those lower tier planes that can turn like when I'm of course when talking about the uh, the uh, the American tech tree, it can turn. Um, coming out of the clouds, I get a couple of shots into this BF 110, and then I I basically go to the vertical. At the moment, I have five kills. Now I'm baiting him for this B 63 because he doesn't have any kill. I get a kill assist off of it, and that's a GG. Like I already have five kills. Why not give him? the last kill. I mean, a six kill video would have been a really good, but eh. It's 2.7. It's a fun BR. Let the people have fun. This plane is one of the most amazing planes that I've ever flown. Like I said before, I'm a sucker for the F4Us. I'm a sucker for the seagull wing design. I love it. Anyway, that's a GG, 5 kills, 1 assist. Thank you guys so much for, uh, for watching the video. Fly safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.